let me start with clearing these misconceptions about Germany, okay? Number one. Everyone, welcome to the Phoebe Way. I am Phoebe, and on this channel, it's all about life in Germany, my experiences, tips for you if you're planning to move to Germany, if you're new in Germany, if you're already living in Germany, let's exchange ideas, okay? Let me know what you want to see. If you have not yet subscribed, hey, what are you waiting for? Subscribe over there, quick, quick, let me see you. Are you done? Okay. Now I can start today's video. So, <laughs> I asked you how you're doing, right? Let me tell you how I'm doing. I am battling with hay fever, all right? We just had the first few sun rays, and the weather has been amazing the past two, three days. Like, it's warm. I can't wait to actually go outside and film. I'm out with a few vlogs for you, so stay tuned for those as well. Some vlogs from some of the German cities and towns. I'm not gonna mention them. Okay, let me mention one. One, Wiesbaden. Beautiful city, beautiful city. That's the capital city or capital town of the region Hessen, all right? Watch out for that video. But apart from that, apart from the hay fever, I'm doing amazing. Thank you so much for the support so far. I really appreciate. Let me bust your bubble today. A lot of people know Germany as the giant when it comes to innovation, technology, when it comes to working systems, you know, systems that are actually sustainable and actually efficient. They are the masters of efficiency. That is true, partly, or mostly. But not everything you think Germans do or Germans are is true. Let me start with clearing these misconceptions about Germany, okay? Number one, Germans are affluent and well-educated. I'm putting the affluence and education together because people think affluence and education are correlated. Yes, partly, but anyway, that's not the discussion for today. The discussion for today is no, not all Germans are well educated. Not all Germans are doing the PhDs and them. Listen, I, I don't know if you've seen my video where I talked about things I don't like about Germany. I talked about not liking how kids are separated after fourth grade um, into Gymnasium, Realschule, Hauptschule, or now they call it Weltrealschule, or maybe even Sonderschule. Uh, gymnasium takes you straight to university if you don't drop out. Um, Weltrealschule, you have to do another on top like two, three years, I think, before you can go to university. Like basically, not everybody goes to university and it's already decided from a very early stage, okay? It's decided from a very early stage whether they can actually go to university or not. And some kids actually end up just learning a trade and working with it. And some jobs actually do not require you to go to university. You can actually do an apprenticeship two to three years and finish, get a certificate and find a job, okay? So there's actually trainings and not everybody is going to university. So not all Germans are educated and some actually do also drop out, also don't finish. It's fine, it's fine. So don't think that all kids abroad or all kids in Germany have the future of going to university and all of that. Nope, that is not the case, okay? Afterwards or wealth, yes, we all think most of us think that we see Germany, you know, they have, they are driving their Mercedes, they're driving their Porsche, they're driving their BMWs, they're driving their Opel or Opel, they're driving their VWs. No, no, some Germans have chosen not to buy cars, but there's also some Germans who cannot afford cars. Yes. And I remember some time back, I think it was about 2009 or so, a family friend, their daughter came to Germany, hi Abigail. And I had the honor of taking her to Stuttgart to shop, right? We got to Stuttgart, we took the train, we got off the train, and right at the main st train station of Stuttgart, right? Beggars came and asked for money. Someone actually sitting out like on the floor, in the background, asking and begging for money. She was like, hey, I have to sign it here. Is that how it is? See, people actually beg in Germany. I said, yeah. Why do you think the government wants to support people who are low income earners, like people who are not able to pay their rent and stuff. And the government cannot see everyone. The government cannot, in Germany we say, a fast, like they can't actually pick up everybody who needs help because some people don't even have addresses. That's another thing and all of that. So the government will not see everybody. And so yes, there are people who are homeless, who go to bed hungry on an empty belly. There are people who, who are with that roof, like they are, jobless, homeless, everything. They are all here, okay? They are all here. So please do not think that 
all demons are rich. No, there are different class. All those classes, middle class, higher middle class, da da da. They are all here. All of them, we did. We did here. We are all represented. Okay, it is the same here. Maybe the proportions might be different, but but even with Corona going on, a lot of people are going through it. Yes, the government they have made provisions for all these people, but it doesn't mean that it's working for everybody. Okay. No more thoughts. People or some people think that there is no speed limit on German highways. Listen, I love my speed, but most of the time there is the limit. There are actually sections of the autobahn, depending on the location, that are without limits. Yeah, like that are like without speed limits. It's true. And you see a lot of people from Switzerland, especially in the south, people from Switzerland, you see a lot of Swiss fast cars here as well, you know, just racing to the autobahn. It is true. But it is not for all sections. Oh, yeah, no, not for all sections. There are sections that are limited to 80, 100, 120, 130 kilometers per hour. So please, if you ever drive on German roads, keep your eyes open. Because as I talked about um, in the video with things you don't do in Germany, you don't overspeed on the highway as well. Last weekend, we took a road trip to Cologne to see family and guys. There were at least three to four speed cameras on the road and these were not like the stationary ones like the ones that are actually there all the time no these are flexible ones so they can move them to any spot they like so keep your eyes open and make sure you are adhering to the speed limit okay good number three the german language is harsh it sounds hard like sis I don't mean, <laughs> for me when it comes to languages, like most of the languages I can speak, or well, two of the languages I can speak, people say they sound hard. Like, you know, I'm an LA girl, number nine for life. People say, your language is hard. It sounds so aggressive. And then I start speaking German, you're like, hey, you don't make German sound so aggressive like that. If you want to hear me speak German, by the way, there's a link up here or up here, okay? Go check that video out about me and the, the questions I answered in German. It was a q and a i did some questions in german if you want to hear me speak german go check that out but german is not necessarily a hard language it just has different phonetics okay different sounds that you might not be used to but it is not a language that sounds harsh or aggressive okay if you actually understand what is going on you get used to it you realize that it is not like that as we have talked about the language let us go to the german people they are soft as well. Germans have suffered. I'm one of them. We have suffered though. We have suffered. People say Germans are rude, especially in the South. And I live in the South. I remember one time I was working, somebody, she came from the North. She was like, you people don't smile. You people are not friendly. And I've been to the North and I can say that, yes, there are more, there are more smiles on your faces. But here, if you get a smile, you know it's genuine. Like it is a real smile. It's coming from the heart because I want to smile to you. I want you to see my teeth. I want you to say something about you is pleasing to me. Okay, that's what I want you to know. But um, down south, people are actually more work oriented, like efficiency kind of thing. So they don't really think about um, smiling to you. Like, like, is it necessary for me to smile? If it becomes necessary, I'll smile. Okay. But the thing is this: once you break that first layer, you have a friendship for life. You have someone you can actually call a friend okay neighbors when they we actually warm up to each other we are cool like my neighbors we actually order stuff together like hey there is there's a seal on Acer. there's a seal on misguided let us order together yes we do we do so it really depends it depends but don't just write germans off as people who are rude no of course you meet people who are just not warm but it doesn't necessarily mean that they are bad okay or they are rude it's just not their style okay so please just let, what should i say don't just judge and write them off like that no you actually miss a lot of great friendships okay that's one thing not every german is a nazi okay not every german is is um rude to foreigners or hates foreigners or hates black people no yeah, sometimes you be in a place where people would stare, but after 16 years, oh, you are going to 17 years, wow. Yes, after almost 17 years, I don't think, I, I don't remember seeing people staring at me that much. Maybe I've gotten used to it, unless you're in a certain village. But, um, yes, there would always be bad eggs everywhere. There are always people who are just... 
Why, why are just not okay, okay? I've, yes, I've, I've had racist encounters. I've had people who have been really mean to me based on the color of my skin. People who are actually not um, well informed about Africa, about Ghana. I've gone through all sorts of things, all sorts of encounters. And let me throw this in there. My worst racist encounter was not in Germany. It was not in Germany, it was in Cambodia. So let me just say this. You think, oh, why? But that was what had happened. My worst racist encounter. I'm not saying this to make Germany feel like, look appealing to you. I'm not saying this to defend Germans. I'm saying that, let me just say it like this. Racism, tribalism, and everything. It's people who just want to use what they themselves don't have any control over to make them feel better and make you feel worse about yourself, okay? So do you think because he's white, something that he can't even control, you are less of a human being and he wants to, like, he wants to capitalize on that to make you feel like less of who you're supposed to be, such a person is sick, okay? And unfortunately, such, such people are everywhere in this world. They are everywhere, not just in Germany. And it's not every German who is this stupid. Who is this bad, okay? So there are good Germans. Yes, I have German family members. I am in a German family as well. So I have to say this. Not every German is racist. Not every German is Nazi, okay? Yep. All right. Number, I'm, I'm already at number five, number six. Next thing is, yes, Germany is the land of efficiency. Mm? Germany is the land of punctuality. Your trains are on time, everything works, everything to go on. No, no. Even sometimes on a regular Sunday, you'll be stuck at the train station, minus 10 degrees because what? some technical faults. It all happens, sis. It all happens, bro. It is not all safe hit. Like, it is not all blue skies here as well. Deutsche Bahn, they are the number one people you can pick on when it comes to things not going well. They are late. They start with 10 minutes delay. Then it gets to 15, 25, 30, 40, 50, one, no, they don't even say one, I'd say 60 minutes delay. This train has been cancelled. Hmm? That's how you play. Is that how to play? Like, how can you cancel a whole train? And if it's like a train that actually moves at 30 minute intervals, it means they've actually cancelled two trains. Like the that one that didn't come. And the next one, it happens. That is why you actually have to be on time and plan some time as well. You don't want to be late. And talking about lateness, I'm somebody who loves to be punctual. I, I hate when people are late, but I can understand that some things do happen. Not everything goes that well. Even when this corona came, some, like, when it comes to how the satisfied people are with how the government is handling things, I could write a whole book. I could write a whole book, okay? So my wonderful people, this is the end of today's video. If there's anything that you remember that I forgot, please, Say that in the description box down below, okay? If you want to be part of my TV Way family, I'll be so glad to have you with me. Like this video, comment, subscribe if you haven't, share it to other people as well. And guys, see you same time next Sunday. If there's anything you want me to discuss, let me know, I surely will. Please take good care of yourselves. Stay hopeful, stay positive. Bleib zuversichtlich, bleib gesund und bis zum nächsten Sonntag. Adi, tschüss.